Hey guys, Dalek44 here, and I'm back to do a commentary on my Dalek Sec email, Detective, which highlights Unikitty's detective skills that she all of a sudden had in that certain email. Yeah, this one was kind of based on the Mickey Mouse and short sock burglar, where Minnie Mouse attempts to solve the case of who's stealing socks from people. And I just, I just for some reason thought it'd be funny to have that sort of scenario with Unikitty. But instead of it being socks, have it be presents, because presents matter a lot to people, especially Unikitty. And when I was singing the Billy Jean song in the beginning of the email, I just... I didn't find really have a particular reason for choosing a different version of Billy Jean for the opening of this email. I just... I was actually listening to the song while I was writing this email and I just randomly decided to do a emailish version of the song because I like Michael Jackson's Billy Jean. Yeah. <laughs> Great Unikitty face from the TV series. <laughs> I actually looked up some pictures from the TV series to get inspiration for the a lot of the new facial expressions Unikitty has from the TV series because I wanted to get them right. And the bit where Cyber yells what the fuck from in the distance was was based off of Ted 2 when Ted goes to use John's computer to send an email to Flash Gordon about, you know, like having a sperm donor and all that, and he leaves the room and, and after a couple of seconds he just yells, what the fuck? And I just decided, have Cyber do that in this, because that's one of my favourite scenes from Ted 2. If you haven't seen that film, I'd highly recommend seeing it. <laughs> yep, and Unikitty as a detective. And there's nothing really like creative to Unikitty's detective gear, it's just her business kitty head on her regular Unikitty body. I mean I could have done a, given her a detective hat, but in all honesty I was too lazy to draw one up. <laughs> Excuse me. And that little quote of Sec owning a homemade Sonia Hedgehog doll was based off of a line from the Sonic Boom TV series where Amy Rose uses her homemade Sonic doll to distract Dr. Robotnik. And she's like, luckily for us, I just happen to have this homemade Sonic doll, which I keep around for legitimate and non-creepy reasons. And I just thought that line would really, really suit Dalek Sec for this particular scene and, of course, his obsession with Sonia Hedgehog. And I should talk about this scene where Unikitty's interrogating various people, including Slovene. That was obviously a nod to the Sock Burglar, where where Minnie interrogates various villains, including the Big Bad Wolf, the Beagle Boys, the Phantom Blots, and the Evil Queen from Snow White. And I just decided to bring out any random villain I could find, like Newt Gunray, Lord Zed, Lord Garmadon, and so on and so forth, and just just give him a cameo in this because I thought it'd be really fun. And earlier when you saw Velma and Shaggy together, like a couple, was an inspiration from Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated when they were going out with each other in season one. And I just, and out of nowhere I decided to put Gentleman Ghost in there showing up out of nowhere. Because, as you know, Scooby-Doo and this gang just have this habit of running into ghosts and ghouls. And ever since I started giving the Lego versions cameos, I just decided to have them being chased by various ghouls, like, say, Marceline the Vampire, Queen, or Boo. And, yeah, I've been using them since. <laughs> this is one of the many, many fourth wall jokes that I do a lot in my videos. Just, like, have Unikitty randomly running into a cameraman and knocking him out. <laughs> I had a lot of fun editing that bit. It was quite a fun thing to do. Uh, if you haven't 
already guessed by now, I absolutely love to break the fourth wall in my videos. What's going on here? I think Perlock came to just call the treasure. Yeah, and the uh, culprits obviously had to be the chief robber and the henchman. All the presents were returned to their rightful owners, and Jessica got her birthday present from Cyber. Yeah. And that was the case of the Yeah, I should probably talk about that. Cork in the background of Jessica's apartment. That actually came from when I was having a party. I, I can't really remember what it was for. It might have been my 18th or my 21st, but I've kept that cork ever since. And I've just randomly decided to use it as a prop for various areas in my videos. Yeah, you know, just sort of one of those things I've kept for sentimental value. And that's pretty much all I can say about this email video. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary and be sure to check out the rest of my videos and new videos that are coming up in the future. Ciao!